Hi, I'm Jules from Fast Car, and this is Feature Car of the Month. Hey guys, I'm Misha Dory, and this is my 190. Come and have a look. The whole getting a 190E was mainly down to being in my first tattoo shop every day at the same time. This old couple would drive past in a stock 190E in white. And I would sit, stand there, I'd sit on this window ledge and wait for them to drive past. And all the guys that were there were like, why do you wait for that taxi to drive past every day? And I get excited. And it was a feeling I didn't get for much in life. I really didn't like graffiti tattooing in cars but only certain cars, you know, and it looks yeah. like a shoebox. Okay, so you pick the car up? Yes. What's the first modification? Or how long did you own it before that first modification? Woo! Well, I had the car, I kept it how it was. Uh, I drove it around thinking I was an absolute boss for I think about six months to a year. Then I went on Facebook Marketplace, found uh, some only charged up bags and airlift performance. I had V2, so this guy was like, I can sell you the lot. So I bought the bags, uh, the lower arms, and the airlift kit for it for some it's so crazy cheap, like 800 quid for the whole lot. I can actually confirm that this is the first set of wheels I ever bought. We just did custom faces. So these are the Futuras that were the first modification I really bought other than the airlift performance. So <clears throat> I kept the barrels and dishes and my clever, clever other half can make anything into a custom three piece split. So I always wanted a set of Carvin Head 40s, but I was never a Jap girl. So it was like, oh, I would love to have them, but I don't have the car for them. They're my favorite wheel. Um, so I had a customer come in and he said that he could get them for me on the Japanese market. And I spoke to Nick and he said, if you get them, you know, we could probably custom drill them and make them a one-off face. Right, so that's not stock, is it? It's a, obviously a Mercedes engine, but yep. it's not the original one in there. Well, to keep all the purists happy, Jules, we stuck with a Mercedes engine. Um, it's an M104 out of a W124 Mercedes and it sounds incredible compared to the original. I did everything else and then was like, the last thing that I want to do is leave a really terrible engine this sluggish in there because I just didn't feel gangster enough, Jules. I wanted to spit flames, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We're all human here. So we'd gone on uh, Google, found loads of low rider engine images and this had the biggest, flattest surface in terms of the rocker cover. Yeah. At the time, this bit was hideous and this was all plastic or the plenum. The plenum, yeah. yeah. So that was bought separately, uh, cost me an arm and a leg. It was something like 1600 quid for the plenum, which I then just took got it made shiny by my man Paul and brought it back and just doodled all over it. It's, it's currently on a base map okay. only, so that's the next thing we've got to do is, is to tune it. And do you know what sort of horsepower you're going to aim for? Uh, about 350 brake I think it's at now, um, but I mean there's a big gap here. Right, it's turbo. Do you know what I mean Jules? At this point in time I'm feeling like I've ran out of things to engrave. And the custom bonnet, just cut out just to show that off. That, like to most people would look at it and think it's just a custom bonnet, but Jake, uh, one of our part of 187, put so much time and effort in. I mean, the hours that went in to like filling this out, making this smooth, making sure that this is sturdy enough. Yeah, know? I was gonna say, you probably would have to re- <laughs> It took a lot of hours, tears, pizza, and chocolate and energy drinks. Thank you, Monster Energy, for supplying because it wouldn't be like this otherwise. Now, I think I've just noticed another detail in this car that what I've only, only just spotted. What have you noticed, Jules? These stubby wing mirrors have obviously been cut down. Ah, well, do you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah? In years of modifying this car, you are the second person ever to notice. Honestly, go. so to get these to be the same, because 190s are odd. One comes long and one is short. Yeah. I had to message somebody in a foreign country that had a left-hand drive and be like, hiya, hope you understand English. Just wondered if you fancy doing a trade. I'll send you my long mirror, you send me your short one, or the other way round. And lucky enough, they said yeah, and they agreed, so. Oh, so it's actually a short mirror? Yeah. But it's so just 
Yes, so they come. From a left hooker. So I sent him my longy, he sent me his stubby, and now I can't see anything when I'm driving. And he can see Rob. He can see everything. I mean, he's the winner here, but yeah. <laughs> so sitting in here, one of the most obvious things is mm -hmm. the steering wheel. A nardy one, but again, you've been in there with your Dremel. I have. So I just took it out one day, engraved it. Um, we got someone to 3D print me a horn push, a 187 one. And yeah, that's how it ended up like this. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite mods, to be honest. Earlier, I told you that the, uh, the bags and the wheels were my first modification. I think this was my third. Oh, OK. So I was one of those people that just always wanted a cool gear stick. So this has been with me since the beginning. It's actually detachable. So. We just just in case you get in trouble. Watch out, go. Jules, yeah? Yeah. Just be careful, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a legit Cosworth interior. The guy had ruined his car and he wanted to sell me it nice and cheap. So I said to him, I'll take the interior and the car for a thousand pounds. And he was like, yeah, why? Right. But the interior alone is worth a grand. So yeah. then I thought, perfect, put it in here and they're actually quite comfy, they? are aren't quite they? comfy, yeah, I like it. And then you've had them re-trimmed in? I had them re-trimmed by So Good, one of my good friends. He is the best. Honestly, the best of the best. It's um, it's all leather and Alcantara centers on some of the bits. There's a few things we've got left to do. I actually really want the dash to be Oxford red. Right. I just think that that would be raw sauce yeah. at this point. But yeah, no, I love it. And then looking up here, mm -hmm. You've got this, you were saying it's a custom painted it headlining. Yeah. And you said you had to paint it in situ. It was one of those moments when all the boys were like, we are revealing your car in two days. We've done the interior. You put thousands in, don't touch the headliner. Hottest day of the year. I had like eight hours to complete it. And all I had was some leftover graffiti markers and some spray paint, which actually isn't black, it's dark brown, but it's all I had. <laughs> and I just went for it and I'm so happy with how it came out. Are you a white monster? I think it looks fitting. Do you know what yeah. I love about that can? What? Is this looks like it's uh, filigree. You see like all my car? Oh yeah. So it's almost like it was made for me. Yeah, probably was. I should have I should have done a collab monster, get at me, we'll do a new story can. <laughs> <laughs> And then I've just seen some more engraving in here on the... Yeah, that, that was me one day bored in one of my tattoo shops back in the day when I first started doing it. Was it say most money? <laughs> more money. So oh, it says more money. more money, more problems. And the back ones say, FBs get money. If you like rap music, you'll know what that means, but I can't swear because it's YouTube. Jules, nothing on this car seems to be standard anymore. Uh, the front bumper was from a kit. I had the front and rear bumper, bought them really cheap from Facebook Marketplace a yeah. long time ago. We went and picked them up, brought them back. Uh, they were The front bumper was fitted and it looked way too flat. So uh, we cut it up, rejigged it, made a fully custom front bumper. So there's not another one of those in the whole world. That's probably the thing I get asked about the most is where can I get the bumper? You can. you can. Side skirts. Yes. Again, they're quite rare. Oh, they're them. very rare. Do you know what I did to a very rare side skirt, Jules? Cut a huge hole in it. I just, um, we were all chatting one night in here, just like as we do, all chilling together. And uh, Nick went, you know what would be really good? Is if you had side exit and exhaust. And I was like, oh! and the second he said it, you were like, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Um, so we decided upon square AMG tips because it just goes with the styling of the car. I want to be able to see when flames come out my car, Jules, and I can't see them at the back, can no. I? No. No. The rear bumper actually belonged to ASAP Rocky. So his need for speed car that he brought out, um, the guy that built it for him, I had a chat with him and, and me and my other half helped with the lowering of it and a few different bits and we actually did a trade with ASAP. So his uh, bonnet star and a few of the parts from his Need for Speed 190E, I traded for his Cosworth rear bumper. So thank you very much, ASAP Rocky. And what then guy. on the back of the car as well, Yes. you've got that rear. Oh, the heck blend. The yeah, heck so blend. the heck blend, actually there aren't many of those about and they're so hard to get hold of. That was a, a gift. So. I always wanted one. I love the idea of that styling. I think just from the back, it looks almost like red velvet cake. It's like white, red, white, red, white. 
So I think that makes such a nice image of the back of the car. It's one of my favorite features, without a doubt. I've engraved the, the spider webs on the windows and my wing mirrors also are done. There's loads more stuff left to go. So that has been Misha's 190E. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite modification on this car? Let us know in the comments. And remember, if you've enjoyed this video, like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much, guys. Mm -hmm.